You're listening to End of the Reel. Oh my god! G'day everyone, we are back doing an awesome podcast, as usual. I'm your host, Jared, and this is my co-host, Ethan. Hi, as usual. That yeah. sounds kind of negative. As usual. As usual. Yeah. Podcast. Oh, wow. Well. well, we're doing the movie Ghost of Mars. It's a John Carpenter film from 2001. It's starring Pam Greer, Jason Stra- Stra- Statham, Statham, and uh, the other aliens. Uh, it's funny because I don't think it, it, it's not starring. Oh, yeah. Jason Statham's Sorry. just got a small supporting role. It's uh, what Ice Cube and Ice Cube. Natasha Henstridge. Yeah, and that's a, that's a movie. It's set on Mars. That's where... This is probably the worst Carpenter movie yeah, I, I have stopped. seen. I gotta out stop of, saying that. Out of any of them, this is the worst I've seen. Yeah, is it? It is it easily. It's easily his worst that I've ever seen too. I, I'm, I'm thinking back. It is back, not good. I'm, I would not recommend it. Don't watch like, this movie. Usually, I love pretty much all of the Carpenter films. Mm-hmm. Even Escape from LA, it's bad, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. The 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 bit with I the plastic that. surgeon is interesting. Okay. Uh, Should I watch it? Well. Mm, I'm gonna say no, honestly. Because I'm not even a huge fan of Escape it's, from New York. Oh, I like, okay. I like don't Escape, like Escape no, no. from New York. You probably won't. No, like no, Escape I didn't say. I, di- I didn't say I, I dislike Escape from New York, but I'm saying like I'm not like the biggest. I I thought it was good. It, Escape from LA has got more silly bits. Okay. Uh, there's a bit with the plastic surgeon that's good that goes for like five minutes, and the basketball scenes kind of silly. But, but who does it have in it? One of our well, all-time it's Snake favorites. Puskin. Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell. Was Kurt Russell in Ghost of Mars? Kurt Russell, I think, was originally meant to be in Ghost of Mars because Ghost of Mars is uh, meant to have been the third Escape From kind of movie. It would be like Escape From Earth. Uh, Right. And watching it, you can see a lot of his earlier films reflected in this, by which I mean they feel like Precinct 13, The Fog, Uh and Escape From New York are being mashed together into one film. I, w- terrible, I wish I could say the terrible thing. Film. He could have done the thing on Mars instead. What do you mean? I'm saying like the he... thing on Mars. No, 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 no. What I mean like, is, like they go to Mars and the... they get no, attacked by the, the thing. The thing that we were saying that it should have been set up for anyway, right? It should have just been Escape from Mars. But it Escape from LA Escape was. From Mars. I, I don't think anyone went to see or liked Escape from LA. Yeah, but what I mean is, the the big thing that we're talking about this movie is that there should have been ghost Martians that invade people's bodies all right like, like okay sort of I, like yeah should okay. i oh, i'll just get into it now there should have been ghost martians that invade people's bodies fine and then they find out that they technically can't really kill them because then the ghosts start jumping in other people's bodies that's okay not a bad idea that's a good idea because but then it gets rid of the whole like thing shooting people doesn't work yeah but they yeah. don't because the characters in the movie are stupid but but then the other big thing is they should be hopelessly outnumbered Stupid, and not be able to people. use their weapons, so that then they have to like sneak from building to building, finding their way out. Sort so of sort like of Precinct like, Thirteen and yeah. Escape from New York with and a little the bit fog, of, a little bit of the, the thing with aliens. Yeah, well, the fog is when uh, you remember the one. That's the one where um, ghost pirates turn up and they come in in the green fog. Except in Ghost of Mars, it's a red fog, and the uh, alien ghosts possess people. Yeah, so that's. Kind of what it should have been, and I think what they were setting up to be. Because I don't know. that's the thing. In this movie, we just went over this, but they unco- so some archaeology d- d- mining group. I think so. Well, we're on Mars. The, the movie is set. Mars. This movie is set like a uh, hundred and fifty years from now. What's Where are we? Is, we're we're colonizing Mars. But what Mars is like seventy percent colonized. Yeah, it's like. 70%. So it's almost there, but not quite. Okay. They, they need little things to breathe and What stuff. else is the important thing about Mars that they told us? Well, it's a matriarchy. Right. They were mentioned numerous times as the matriarchy, even though it really doesn't matter at all. Did it have any... And we don't see this. <laughs> Did it have any effect? Uh, I think the oh, magistrate one of them lady, said... but even then... Uh, Ice Cube, actually. He, he has a line. Oh, yeah, he has a couple of lines where it's like, Wherever you go, it's always the lady's boot on your neck, sort of thing. And he also said, like, they were like, oh, why didn't you tell the police that you didn't do it? And he was like, who would believe me? I'm just a man. And I was just like, this is so... I think he's not... the only one who's got lines like that. Like, everyone else just ignores it. Like, the movie ignores it itself, but it keeps bringing it up. Well, I don't... The, the whole world is set up weird, so we're on Mars with well, that. It's very simple. It's like, we've colonized Mars for some reason. And yeah. We're mining around. 
and it turns out that Mars is filled. The center of Mars is filled with angry ghosts. No, not the like center. It's like a people. temple. It's, it's like an underground temple. temple. So, so essentially, this archaeology chick that archaeologist. I don't know what she is actually. She's, She's just somebody. She touches the the doorway, Let's and it melts out. away, and the ghosts come out. We don't know why they're there, apart from that they're all homicidally evil. Also, apparently, I, I hate it, one of these lines. Were they lines. primitive? It looks like they're primitive because yeah. even in the flashback when you see the aliens, and you do see the aliens. No, but do, don't you remember the line about like, them? They're just like, they've got shields and spears and stuff. Yeah, but how about the line about them? Oh, they're like, they're like, they're the, designed, they're the perfect killer designed to take over whoever lands on Mars. But it doesn't make sense if they're ghosts because it's like, oh, they're perfectly evolved to take over. None him. of it makes sense. And it's sense. like, how does it's, that make it, sense? None, nothing in this movie makes any sense and it is filled with stupid, stupid people. That always annoys me, the I, lines. I realise that this movie, like, it's got the title Ghosts of Mars. I'm, I'm guessing it's meant to be a comedy. Or at least it's not meant to be taken seriously. Like it's some sort of satire or something, but it doesn't work. It just comes across as a dumb, weird action flick. It's, no, it comes through as lazy. Lazy is uh, the key word for cheap. this film. It looks oh, cheap. So cheap. It looks so cheap. Everything and terrible. Because the the weird thing is that it sounds like they have an idea where there was a temple on Mars. It had ghosts, and then that's the cool thing is that the ghost fog comes through, infects a certain amount of people. You have to fight your way out, but you can't use guns. You can't out. You can't you know? kill people. So, so that, that because because that's once a, the ghosts that's a cool get trick. trapped into something, they're trapped. Mm-hmm. They they can't escape from things. They can't go through well, solid they, objects they could, or doors uh, or anything. That was never explained. Yeah, that was never explained. Like, because essentially you could have people hiding. I don't know, but the point is though, it's set, that's a good setup. That's a good setup for a solid film where we're gonna have people having to. You know, work their way out around stuff like that. But they that. can't kill anybody. Yeah, it's a Two good minutes setup. into this movie, once they figure out what's going on, they don't they're care. running around, guns akimbo, one in each hand, just firing blindly that's into what the pissed me. That's what pissed me off. I think someone wrote down a good idea. Everyone said, this is a good premise. We'll set it up. And then, as they started filming it, I honestly think they were like, I can't be fucked. I cannot be How fucked How can we have an action this. film if... They can't kill anybody. They, they couldn't. Well, just have them kill people. Their own premise that they set up, they couldn't be bothered following. Like, they don't... It, it has no... Same with the matriarchal thing. It has no... It has no consequence yeah. whatsoever to the entire film. I mean, it. they just decide, oh, it doesn't matter. We'll just kill people. They literally the, don't the ghosts, care. The ghosts in the film just don't make sense to me at all. Like, yeah. like that's the biggest problem for me. It's like, none of this makes sense. It's, it's like... Why were these aliens there? Why have they died? Why were they caged up in the first place? Also, the Why entire movie is a flashback. Oh, the, there are flashbacks within flashbacks within flashbacks in this movie. It's ridiculous. Basically, we start off and there's a ghost train that arrives. Now, I'm just going to say something. It this makes is driving perfect me nuts. sense, Jared. Nah, every film that we've been watching like wild west they had like that hidden railway train that made no sense right like you can't just have a hidden railway joining onto your railway is this a real thing there is no hidden railway in this one right right, exactly it makes it even worse because they're like oh this train arrived and we weren't expecting it what do you mean it's a train no no no, but i mean that they weren't expecting it then and no one was driving it that's why it was the ghost train yeah that kind of made a bit more sense later but the 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 fakest looking ghost train. why is it always with these trains in these movies they're like oh i wasn't expecting this train or a train turned up on this train tracks that we hadn't seen a surprise it was a ghost train you know what we should watch what i think it's called ghost train what was it killer ghost anyway this train turns up at the city no have you seen it's actually uh, Side thing here, everyone. Uh, I'll, I'll try and is, find is the link to it. Is it a train that chases people on the train tracks? I or think something? it's. I think it's Russian. And, it, and no, it's no, like no, the Prometheus it, universe where they don't when she, where they don't know just all they have to do is get off the. No, tracks. it gets off the train tracks. It's a oh. demon. I think it's like demon train. And there's this awesome five minute clip of it just killing people. Are you sure this isn't? Yeah. Out of no, I've seen dreams? it. It's it's okay. pretty cool. We should watch a train. Movie. Anyway. Uh. She arrives. Lieutenant, I mean, the, what's his name? Turns up the main hero. What, what she turns up her? and she's uh, handcuffed to the bed, and she's got the tiniest little scratch. So she was meant to be Courtney Love, you were saying. Yeah, apparently Courtney Love like had her leg broken or something before the shooting, so they picked her. 
Okay. And she'd Courtney just come Love. off two other films. So she, at one point, they had to take a week off because uh, she was just so exhausted. She became sick. Yeah, that sucks. And all the way through, it's like, everyone in this film looks kind of miserable. Like, right until the end, there's like one interaction between uh, Desolation Williams and the lieutenant. Oh, Desolation Williams. Where they Williams actually look is... happy. Should we say who they are? Ice Cube. Ice Cube's Desolation Williams. Right. The, the lieutenant's... Desolation the... Williams. Right. Yeah. We also have horrible editing. And when we mean horrible editing, I mean... I mean, like... Constant weird cuts and... It's the sort of editing where I, I believe that some kid just did it on his PC. You know, when they just have, like, a, a... I don't know what they're called. I'm not a, I'm not a movie sort of guy. weird swipe. A, a crossfade, a swipe across. And they have lots of it. It's really bad. It adds to the whole cheapness of the film. It feels like everything looks incredibly cheap. cheap. Like like these were effects that just came with the camera sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So she's having to explain to them what happened. So we get into a flashback. Flashback level one of Cause Inception. Because the whole movie is a flashback. It's all Inception. We also have yeah. flashbacks from other people inside yeah. a flashback. She describes other people's flashbacks to these people. It doesn't, must be very disorientating. Doesn't taking make any it. sense. No wonder when she turns up. It's like the guard is like, oh, yeah, we found tons of drugs in her system. That was just to explain the crazy she spews at them. Well, also the drugs are the well, they're antiseptic to... Turns the, out that's all you need oh, to escape called? from ghosts. Tons of uh, drugs. Yeah, drugs. It cures ghosts. Dr- position. Yeah, drugs beat demons. That's uh, right. Ghosts, sorry. Demon ghosts. Demon ghosts. Alien. Alien lizards. They were lizard so the, people. I don't know. Uh, I don't think there was like uh, an analogous no, they all looked like counterpart uh, to compare them to. They all looked like the dude from they Harry like Potter. They looked like whales. No, the dude from Harry Potter. Oh, Voldemort. Voldemort. Yeah. yeah, okay. He who like must not be named buff, Ethan. They looked like giant buff Voldemorts. Yeah. Was, and I don't get it. Okay. I, uh, the ghosts, right? Yeah. Go so on. they take over people's bodies, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they immediately, at first, they're like looking around, just like they out confused. of it completely for yep. a couple hours, and then they immediately start cutting on themselves to turn themselves just back doing, into the but, thing. But are they like crazy aliens? Do you mean because that must hurt them? Yeah, well, not just that. But no, that's what I was thinking. Why would you do that in the first place? Like, I get that they want to wipe out. Whoever's on the planet. They want to look like, more like they, they used to look. The... So why do they cut off people's hands and turn them into bras? Because it, hands are perfect to hold up boobs. Why do they make themselves look like Marilyn Manson, Jared? Marilyn Manson's a really cool guy. Uh, well, why wouldn't you want to look like Marilyn Manson? The main guy is apparently really cool because the main Martian baddie is actually called Big Daddy Mars. He reminds me of the crow. He is just hilarious. He's like a ripoff of the crow. They're all, they've all got this weird barking language thing. Actually, you know what annoyed me with the, the ghosts? What? Just to make it even more annoying. Not all the ghosts are actually killer ghosts. What do you mean? Well, uh, but they were like, oh, I'll, I think it's like... Not everyone gets possessed. No, no, no. Not everyone can even be possessed. Even the ones that are possessed. For some reason. Even the ones that are possessed, yeah, yeah. not all of them go to join the army. Some of them just sit around looking at themselves. They don't turn gradually. They literally, just, they were like, oh yeah, not all of them do either. Just sit oh, around. Oh, those were the ones in the, uh, they were in the town though. They weren't in the mines. They were the people who got hit first. The people in the town got hit second. Yeah, but that still confused me. I was like, so some of these aliens just kind of sit around and don't do anything? Anyway, what we find right? out... Right? <laughs> it doesn't whole, make sense. Because they're sitting around cutting on each other and stuff. You know what? It, wouldn't it make so much more sense if it was demons? Yes. Because ghosts don't... Ancient alien ghosts. But, but that's the thing. I don't because think this is like, meant to be taken they, seriously. Why are there different but types of ghosts? it's too stupid not to be taken seriously. Do you know what I mean? Like, but I why are there different types of ghosts? Different types of demons? Cool. I'm with it. Yeah. Makes sense. But ghosts? Okay. 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 Yeah, the lieutenants have to explain what happened to your team. Where, where's the prisoner you were meant so to bring? We get in? a flashback of her on the train taking drugs. Take it. Is that the start? She's uh, yeah. she's heading in. T- so she in a train. Really, full this of would have been perfect for Courtney Love. There's space cops decked out in like shiny black leather and shiny black guns. Yeah, so it's a ninety space cop. Uh, Pam Greer is the commander, and it's the lieutenant, Sergeant Jericho, played by. Jason Statham. Jason Statham and the Statham. These, and the the two rookies who are fucking so stupid useless. And useless. I actually the male rookie's not bad. It's it's uh, the female rookie who's played by 
Claudia Duval. And I, I kept thinking I recognize her from everything. And she, she's the, uh, uh, she's the lesbian protector from Veep. Okay. Uh, I, I just watched Veep recently, so I recognized it. Yeah, because that uh, meant she nothing is to me. a huge fuck up in this movie. She is constantly making mistakes. And again, I think it's meant to be a comedy with her because there's no way you could take her character seriously. Right. Like, one minute she's like randomly screaming, the next she's throwing herself in front of like spinning blades. It's ridiculous. You know how you're They're saying... all heading into uh, this Martian mining town to f- capture. Yeah. Desolation Williams, who is a wanted criminal for some reason. They kept going on he about him. He keeps fighting the woman. Oh, That's my God. They said so many different stories about him. He took well, out six men with just one arm. Yeah. And he is meant, he's meant to be the Snake Plissken character. You know, he's in a black singlet, talks cool all the time, but he's not. It's just Ice Cube. Yeah. He's not a bad actor, but this is just a terrible film. Yeah. Or it's uh, just Ice Tea. It, the, the interactions with the lieutenant and everyone else in this movie are very strange. She is either... We first meet her and she's getting high, just taking drugs in this train on the way in. And the commander comes up to her and is like... At first I thought she was going to yell at her for taking drugs, but then she just starts hitting on her. Oh, yeah. So just, th- th- she, this is about the all we get. the lieutenant is constantly being sexually harassed by everyone in the film. But this is all we get from Pam Greer is her sexually harassing her the chick why don't you sleep your way to the top lieutenant yeah also i have to bring up and when you it's keep not worrying, pay- you keep bringing up the comedy thing right yeah? okay. i think it's meant to have been so, a comedy or something i have never no no nah, because that's, you can't take no, it seriously no 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 it's not meant to be but a even comedy. but okay so with carpenter's films they have bits of comedy in them you think like escape from new york that that's it's like, it's so silly, bits of it, you're meant to like almost laugh. Yeah, but I'm saying like... Especially Escape from LA, which has some just ridiculous bits We've seen a lot of movies now between us, right? Yeah. And we've seen movies where they go, oh, it's meant to be a comedy, but it doesn't but quite hit. But but bit you can fails see, completely. Okay, you can see where it fails, or you can see where it didn't work. At least you can see glimpses. The part I, where Dose cuts his finger off where he's high, when he's high. That is, okay, that is literally the only moment in this entire film that i could see someone saying that was meant to be comedy there is nowhere else in this film that there's even the slightest indica- indication of comedy yeah. i do not understand i because think the what, aliens maybe how they is, were meant to be so over the top that they were like hilariously funny but but they're not it's just like a normal house well it doesn't quite hit the horror level but it's like you go into a place there's blood everywhere there's like um there's always nail Freaking artwork and everything. Yeah, yeah, they're like you know? uh, they're like the ones out of uh, Serenity and Firefly. Yeah, the, the Reavers or whatever they are. Yeah, the exactly right. Yeah. but when I look at that, I don't think it's funny. There's nothing like hilariously overdone or the the the, the hand bra was kind of funny. The hand bra, but apart from okay. that, they're just stupid zombies. Again, I think things. the hand bra is just someone making use of two good hands. Yeah. So uh, when the lieutenant isn't being hit on by uh, her commander, Pam Greer, yep. she's being aggressively hit on by the sergeant, Jason Statham, who yep. is constantly throughout the movie hitting on her. Jason and it actually Statham, works. he can walk into a room full of dead bodies, turn around and be like, you want a bone? Like constantly. That's actually what he does. And it works, Jared. It works because she's like, okay. And they start making out. That's so dumb. IMBD trivia. Trivia. This is uh, Jason Statham's first on-screen kiss. That was there worth it, too. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll see and, him. And the whole scene, in the, he's cock-blocked, though, by the stupid uh, rookie who... Uh, we'll get to it, but she's, she's just so stupid. Okay, you don't like the rookie, but maybe we'll see Jason Statham in real life one day. And that's yeah. what I'm going to do. I'm going to get his signature just say you, and be you just like... love Ghosts of Mars. Be like, you know what? Not the crank movies or Transporters or... Lock, stock, and two smoking barrels will just be Ghost of Mars. Exactly. I'll say my favorite movie with you, with your first kiss, is Ghost of Mars. And he'll just look at me and punch me in the face. Good. And that'd be freaking awesome. You deserve it. Back to the movie. Yeah, they get to this uh, crappy looking town. And I don't mean crappy as in it's deliberately ah, you crappy. Looked this up, I mean, it you? looks cheap. It looks very cheap. Uh, now, I think where the, was this the filmed? whole thing was filmed in a gypsum mine in New Mexico, apparently. A what? A gypsum mine? Is that type of material, raw ore or something? I have no idea. It I want to Google it, but I shouldn't. Uh, yeah, everything looks just really cheap. 
It does. It uh, all looks terrible. They, make they a, use the same freak. You know what? They, they use the same the, shots. Sorry, they use the same buildings, just different angles to make it look like it's yeah, yeah, in different yeah. places. It's just it's, it's a just tiny terrible. little town with a, like a hole next to it. Basically, too. So they get there, they split up, of course, and they go, "Oh, no one's in town." It's so weird that the entire town is completely empty. No one is phased by anything in this movie. Apparently, they just all take yeah. it in their stride. They make a big thing out of uh, needing breathing tube things. I think that's the glasses. I think they're the breathing things. Okay. Mars is also a shithole, apparently, which I'm desperately raking my mind right now to think of any movie that's portrayed Mars as not being a shithole. Every single movie has Mars always being like the outer, outer colonies or shitholes. Yeah, I can't think of anything. Right? I'm seeing it everything, and it's always like, it's the, the outer recall. colony. Yeah. Uh, that show you Babylon like Babylon Five, the TV show you like The Expanse. No, 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 no. And The Expanse, it's good. I Is mean, it? it hasn't been uh, terraformed, but it's also the most advanced place. Oops. Yeah, because it's <laughs> because it, it, Maybe in I The watch Expanse, that. it's um mainly colonized by astronauts and scientists. Ah. So it's like, oh, they're highly advanced. I get you. Yeah. Well, there we go. Mars. Yeah, yeah, The Expanse. Watch that. That's a great show. I gotta watch also, it. Also, with space watch zombies. It next. Really? Yeah. No shit. Yeah, it's got space zombies, but they're cool. Are they ghosts on Mars? Actually, you know what? They're kind of ghosts. Oh wow! But they're like extra dimensional ones. Yeah, it's pretty good. Jeez, Actually, I, I wonder where I, he got the that show. wonder where he got the idea from, <laughs> Mister Author it Man. Was I can't not remember his from name. Ghost of Mars. That's yeah, for sure. definitely wasn't. So we get there straight away. They find some dead bodies. They head into no no no. Do they? They head into the police station and they're like, it's still weird that there's nobody around and we can't find anybody. But they they find out that the uh, the cell area has been locked off and of mm-hmm. course the ghosts can't move through solid objects. So all the prisoners are fine. Uh, the, well, the ghosts can't move where the script says they can't move. Yeah, that's where Jericho Williams shows his uh, Sergeant Statham. Uh, whatever his name, shows off his skills. He can open any door, any it, real easy. This will come into play multiple times throughout the movie. Uh, right? It's weird, Abs- yeah? I, I... Because he opens the cell doors. He opens the back doors. He, he opens... Uh, he, he tries... He goes to open the, the car door where there's a one of the ghosts of Mars is trapped in. And in the end, he opens the doors to the nuclear silo. Well, he's Which a, is just so goddamn ridiculous. Jason Statham, he can open doors. That's his character. He That's opens doors sure. and aggressively hits on women. Aggressively hits on them. Yeah, they can't. They still can't find anybody. And then they eventually find a dead body, don't they? No, what? they they don't. They head out, and they find out that Pam Grier and the rookies have gone into the mess hall, and it yeah. All the bodies are just hung up like they're like meat all over the place. It's like a butcher's butcher shop. Or maybe place. like if you have like a an auntie who has puppets or dolls, how they hang them up. Yeah. So you they know? get back in. They... Like they're, they're the children, but they're really not because you can stick your hand inside them. Yeah, yeah. Which just you shouldn't like do with children. Puppets hanging up all over the place. <laughs> Oh, I don't know where the, I don't know where I was going with that. And it was dark places. Yeah. Let's let's keep going then. Uh, uh, I can't remember what happens exactly. I got, they I, all split they, up. What happens here? Stupidly. I remember what happens. Some here. of them go back to the no, prisoners no. and are like, "What the hell's the happening?" The rookies have come back. Yeah, yeah. They found the okay. Uh, our lieutenant chick. She splits off from Statham, who's doing something, and then she meets. If the this two is rookies. like a, the smallest town. There's like. Four buildings in this place, and they're yeah. constantly splitting up to check out things. Now, then, Statham, no, then our lieutenant, she goes and finds his car with someone in it screaming for them. To, yeah. uh, uh, and then the Statham, guy's screaming to stay away because some people aren't completely possessed. Yeah. And he's he's like the only smart person in the entire film. He's trapped himself in an airtight car, so the ghost can't escape. Yeah. And then Statham catches up to her somehow. Yeah, and then Pam they Greer see just Pam sort of Greer disappear. No, no, they literally see Pam Greer like walk off. Like yeah. she's maybe fifty meters away, right? Not even a hundred meters. She's maybe fifty meters. I think Pam Greer sees someone and goes to follow her, and that is the last we see of Pam Greer. No, living, no, living, that's not living, the, oh, living, 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 alive. Yeah, yeah. Because Statham then goes to follow Pam Greer instead of now. You got to remember. Oh wait. Occasionally, it'll flash back to present day where she's explaining this to the magistrate 
and she's explaining what other people were doing and the flashbacks yeah. they were having. Because now we follow in these Statham. weird orders, and it'll constantly flash or fade between these different people. We follow Statham, and he follows some crazy woman with a who head. puts a head on a pike in this field of uh, heads, and it looks like Pam Greer from a distance, right? So then he starts getting closer to it, and you're like, and it's this crazy chick, and she's just dancing around in front of his head. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but we're, we're like, oh, it can't be Pam Greer, right? It can't be. And then they just go up, and oh, it is Pam Greer. And then it, he sees the army. The whole down thing there. is so ridiculous; you can't take it seriously. It's ridiculous but it's not because ridiculous enough to be funny. Pam Greer or... just gets killed off scene, off screen. And suddenly we're like, most oh, Pam Grier's dead. Most people get killed screen. You, you yeah, really see? most do. Actually, most of the how main characters when, How about when Statham died? You Re- don't do you even remember see what it. happened when Statham died? He gets dogpiled and it just cuts away from him. I remember when I said, wait, where's Statham? And you said he died. And I said, you when? You didn't even notice. And you said, oh, he died two seconds. Yeah, because the dogpiling wasn't like, wasn't like a proper one. It was more like three people on putting their hands on he his shoulders. He gets crash tackled. Off screen, and that's it. He's gone. You know when, like, they have the scene where, oh, they're getting overrun, and people are like, no, what should happen is he gets pulled down into and uh, they cover yeah, him, yeah. right? And then but you what see we him saw, getting, like, ripped up and stuff. What we saw instead was more like them sort of, like, three people are surrounding him, like... That's it. Kind of getting on top yeah. of him, but that's it. So you're like, oh, he must have gone out. No, he's dead. Oh. I didn't I didn't know he died. Yeah, there's a whole heap of people who you don't like, but Pam Grier, she's just dead. There's, they go back and they kind of sound sad about it and hear that there's a monster. Oh no, actually, he no, also, Satham, uh, he, he Satham bumps finds into people. three people who claim to be miners. As it turns out, they're part of Desolation Williams' gang and they're there to bust him out. There's Do, a bit of a standoff, which is so stupid. Should we even get into how nonsensical? I, I like, nah, the world's broken. The oh, wait, world's wait. broken. Okay, so I the lieutenant understand. heads into the prison where she finds that Desolation Williams has not only escaped his cell, but has taken the dumb rookie hostage with her own gun. Oh. Because she let him out. That's that's the first major strike against her. Yeah. Uh, she has been captured by Desolation Williams. The lieutenant beats him up, puts him back in the cell, sort of. Wait, doesn't... Oh, no, no, he escapes, and that's when they first she, run into she, the crazies. She beats him up. No, they fight. And in the meantime, the two the two rookies just just stand, stand there, there and watch. watch. And then she wakes up and she's like, "What happened?" And they were like, "Oh, he was too quick. He ran off." And it was like, and, "By oh, the way, he got one of your guns." Yeah, and it's like, "But you had guns and were just watching the fight." So ah. that's strike two. But my point is, though, you know, he's an entire team. Yeah, I didn't understand how. how Uno dos tres. I didn't understand. Oh God. Uno do tres. I didn't understand how any of that worked. What do you mean? How do how do they rob on Mars? How does anything work on Mars? Nothing makes sense, though, so it doesn't matter. Let's not even go into it. Don't don't try and make sense of it. Like, because it doesn't make the any entire sense. society on Mars. Nothing. The the mining towns to the the people who open what up were the they ghosts. Mining? To even to the people who open up the ghosts. To even our main town thing where she's getting court trialed. None of it makes anyway, any sense. Anyway, in the prison, there's three random townspeople. Desolation Williams. Oh, there's not three random towns. And people. there's uh, a woman who's floated in, literally from another town. I think there's actually two other people. No. Yeah, there's a, there's another woman there. Uh, yeah, but she's possessed. Not yet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No. The one they find in the uh, like. No, 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 in thing. the prison. Yeah. In the pr- okay, in the prison, there's Desolation Williams. Yeah. The balloon woman. Yeah. Uh, the other woman. One of the prisoners. Yeah. Yeah. Prisoner. And then the two random guys. And the other two prisoners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's five people. Yeah, that's what I said. Didn't you say three? I, I said Desolation Williams, the yep. balloon woman, and three prisoners. Oh, and three prisoners. I thought you just meant, and like, three prisoners. No, 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 no. Good math. Quick math. Okay. Well, anyway, now that we know how many prisoners there are. Are you going to interrogate me more? That's one whole hand if you have Jeez. normal fingers on your hands, you know? Right. And you have an extra digit on your hands, count yourself lucky, because you can count to 11. Okay. okay, so <laughs> let's back on track. This mess of a movie. So the balloon woman, insane. the balloon woman's the archaeologist. Uh, sorry, she's the ge- she's it, a geologist actually. She she seems to know something about what's happening because they're interrogating them all. It's like what's happening. Well, we get her flashback, and her flashback shows so that now she we're opened it up. Flashback explaining someone else's flashback within a flashback sort of thing. So somehow 
she they opened were to it dig up. At another mine, and yeah. she just touches this door thing. It dissolves, and this red mist comes out, and they all get possessed. Oh, except for her. You some expect... people don't get possessed for You're... some reason. <sighs> yeah, but for plot. But she gets possessed later. Doesn't she? Or does she just die? I can't remember. She I, dies I can't remember what happens to her. A lot of people die in this and you don't even notice. It's weird too because she somehow gets into a balloon, a hot air balloon. She, gets it, she modifies a weather balloon and manages to float to this place just before it gets taken over. Yeah. And somehow and she also it. knows how that's the ghosts work. Thing. Yeah, well, they all seem to know how the ghosts work. They all call the ghosts like, oh, they're specially engineered to destroy us. They're the ultimate killing machines. Crap like that. And they're like, I don't just know where stop they're shooting about. them then. Yeah, stop. Why do you keep shooting the bodies if you know they're just going to take you over? It was such a nice setup. They even to talk have about them. it. They're like, well, what do we do? Well, we just got to shoot them. Like, honestly, you thought the same thing, right? You thought they were going to try and retrap them. They were going to do something smart, but because they don't. Because they have minds, yeah? Yeah. Wouldn't this movie have been far more interesting if they had to, if like, they tried to trap them in the trap mines? Trap them in the mines. That would have been the logical thing. Instead. What happens is... Should we tell them what happens? After they've all decided to team up, they manage to get okay. the train to come back. Okay. They They're go out all... to the train. The Wait, train doesn't turn up. This is insane, actually. They all get to run through the town together. Yeah. They're all running through together. Actually, we missed the dude who cuts off his finger. Should we... Should we I, I want to say that. There's this dude who, as they're making bombs... One of Desolation's crewmen. Yep. As they're making bombs... He decides to cut off his finger to show off. Well, he gets super high, and they're like, he gets super high. Yeah. He's and that's crazy. It. That's it. It was real wild. Then he starts giving this girl the eye. He laughs as he takes the explosive and cuts his fingers off. When you think about it, now he can give her the finger too. And then, what? And then everyone <laughs> starts just, laughing at said... him. You're all over the place, Jared. What's good in one. that Pepsi? This is good. And... Okay. So anyway, they're running through, they're running through town. The weirdest thing is, though, they make it. Yeah, they, they make, make it to it. the train station, but the train isn't there. No, I don't mean... Yeah, so Desolation Williams just... Huh? They could have just hid there. So Desolation Williams goes, well, I guess now we do what we should have done in the first place. Runs down with into the town, both guns blasting, going, die, motherfuckers. He literally and not had everyone two else guns out. follows them in, shooting. It and was it's like, the dumbest thing they could have done. they've explained again and again that if one of the people die, the ghosts just go into whoever's nearby. Yeah. So, of course... Two seconds into it, uh, his brother, Uno, gets taken over, uh, and we never see him again. I kept expecting him to come back and for that to be, like, a meaningful fight between the two of them because they're brothers. He just talks about the brother. But he just disappears. Uh, The other two henchmen die, and then the the nameless dude rookie dies Then they run back inside. Yeah. They run back inside. And then I think, the and that's thing is, that's where the whole precinct thirteen comes in because they just besieged in there for a bit. Wait, you know what? One of the rookies. This I is think the we missed the scene part. where is the rookie okay. shoot the person. This is, the, this, this is yeah. the thing. So Jason Statham takes the lieutenant into the back room because after but that the, entire thing was because done, after a massacre and your and your should be like getting ready for a siege. That's when you should put the moves on your uh, leading lady and try yeah. to have sex, and it works. They they start making out. And you hear these gunshots. And what had happened earlier is they'd found uh, one of the prisoners had been infected by a ghost. So they'd put him in his own cell. That's right. Yeah. The dumb rookie was meant to be looking after him. So, but for no reason at all. All she of a sudden you hear this shoot. shooting. They go out and she's just like, oh, I shot the fucker. I don't care what it is. And they're like, oh, that's the worst. It's so, because they know, she knows that if they die, it'll just get, take them over. Because instantly the lieutenant and the sergeant are like, oh my god, we got to get out of here. They start running away. But uh, the lieutenant is hit by the ghost and she gets taken over. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the lieutenant's they, hit they and they're like, oh no. They don't have it in them to kill her, so they drag her out and leave her outside. And someone gives her drugs. So, yeah, uh, this is where we find out not only what the, dr- the ghosts were originally and what they looked like, but... That they are vulnerable to drugs. Wow. Well, because for some reason, the sergeant, I can't remember, is like, oh, well, she may as well be happy when she's going yeah. out or something. Shoves her entire stash into her mouth. ODing her, probably. How did he know where she was keeping them, too? Because she had like a little Class locket around her neck. that she was hiding them in. But whatever. So they run back inside, and she starts tripping out, and she starts flashing back to the aliens, flashing mm-hmm. back. To when mm-hmm. they're just uh, these primitive 
whale people. Where are you getting the whale idea They can't from? because they got no nose and they got these weird smooth faces. They kind of look like whales. I don't know. Like, no, they, they got don't. whale heads. Whales don't have legs and arms. Yeah, but the faces, right? They look like whale faces. I think Voldemort's uh, more apt. Okay, one of the two. And uh, then she vomits up the alien. Yeah, she just vomits up just and it leaves. literally throws the alien up and it runs away. Oh, that's so dumb. Anyway, she, of course, breaks back into the place. They're all good. And this time they decide... Oh, they call the, they call the train this time. Now, yeah, now they actually contact the train and right. to come and get them. So, of course, they do the same thing where they get prepared again because now they're going to be sieged. Do the exact same thing. I think the place gets sieged, though. Oh, they, they, they lure them in and they start take killing them all. But I'm like, they're still doing the same thing. Right? Slightly better, I though. Think, I think a couple of them get possessed again. Yeah. But they manage to get out... And by the time they get Honestly, to the train, there's only a few of them left. The, in this movie, you don't know if they're being possessed or get killed because of just... It, because the minute it happens, they just mess. disappear from the movie. Exactly. So, uh, the lieutenant, the sergeant, who else is left? Uh, the dumb rookie and balloon lady and oh, Desolation and, uh, Williams. Desolation Williams. Managed to get to the train and they're driving off and they're heading to the city. Oh, this is so dumb. I forgot this happened. And it's like, you're like, well, this is it, right? They'll get to the city... And they'll have to come up with a plan on how to deal with this army of ghost people walking towards them. No, because the lieutenant comes up with a plan all by herself. And you've got to remember, at this point, she is high as balls. And you know. But everyone is still taking her deadly serious. And what's the main thing we know about the ghosts? Is that killing them just makes them go into the vapor form, and that makes them go and find someone else to infect. If anything, it makes them more dangerous. Okay, so you need to trap them somewhere, not kill them. And since they're in the train, they'll have at least like four or five days head start ahead of the walking people. Yes, they because do. Because the ghosts are, again, primitives. Like, they don't know how technology you know what they works. Could do? They can't work out doors. They could build a wall. Yeah. They could build a wall to keep these things out. They could and build a wall. And that would probably work. Uh, instead, as they're driving away, she goes, we got to take them out. Yeah. What do you mean? There's a nuclear power plant and... For some reason, they know how to set it off so it'll blow everything up. So they stop the train so and they, they go to that. So they stop the train to go back into town. So they just go back to get swamped. The lieutenant kills everyone yeah, except for Desolation Williams in this move. Well, they just... I, I don't, I'm trying to remember how they got killed. I think the train guy got... The, so oh, they, they throw discs. That's kind of cool. They throw the, the, the discs. Mi- uh, yeah. And uh, dumb rookie, like, strike number four... She ducks down under the discs and immediately pops back up to get her head chopped off by the discs. That was kind of cool. That kind of looked hilarious. Well, but, um, she dies that way. Statham just gets overrun by people and dies and you don't realise. The train guys just get dragged out and they killed. They get killed. Desolation Williams. Where was he in the fight? I can't remember. The whole thing was a blur. It kept cutting to different places. She sets off the nuclear thing but gets on the train. They run away. On the train, there's two people. Two of the Big Daddy, things. Big Daddy Mars, Big Daddy Mars is there, and uh, they have a big fight. There's someone else too, wasn't there? Oh, I was just some random. Yeah, of course. It turns out Desolation Williams also uh, Desolation Williams and the Lieutenant survive. Right, but before they get into the city, Desolation locks her in and runs off. And yeah, that's why well, it was a ghost train. His whole thing is like, oh, they won't believe me, and he, I'm just he's got man. this weird thing about like. That's why this fits if it was I think Snake. he's the only one who brings up the whole matriarchy thing. So, in uh, Escape from New York, it, it fits that he's uh, already a criminal, well-known, and he, he wants who... to escape sort of thing. So, it would have fit if it was Snake, right? But it doesn't fit Desolation Williams, because it's also like, where, where's he going to run to? Where are you going? It's where? Mars. There's like two towns and you've been there. Uh, anyway, so... That ends she gets the flashback. It. Oh, yeah, but they've blown up all the ghosts, which means they're dead. Well, means no, all the it hosts means they've turned into a giant cloud that is now moving even faster. So they were all like, okay, did we do it? And they were like, oh, you don't know, but we definitely stopped them for a little while or something Except dumb. Except they didn't. I think they actually sped the they process sped it up. up. So she gets taken down to an infirmary, and all of a sudden you hear this screaming all over the place, yeah. and people over the loudspeakers are like, got to help everybody. But and you worry, see that kids. the town, that, that the the Mars city is being swamped by this giant red cloud of evil aliens. But don't, don't worry, because suddenly in comes Desolation Williams with guns, and he says, Tide is up. 
time to stay alive. And she gets up with him and runs, That was the runs only away. point of the film that they actually looked happy. So I wanna because they actually looked this. like they were acting. Because they were like smiling and like nodding to each other. And I'm like, that's cool. Why couldn't the whole movie be like that? So we know that Courtney Love was meant to be one of the people. And then we know with Desolation Williams, it was meant to be originally Snake. Or it was meant to be... um. Uh, I think that's when it was Escape From. Then it was meant to be Jason Statham. Yeah, it makes so I much think. more sense. Even Jason Statham makes more, more, more sense. But they didn't. They went with Ice Cube. No, he's no, a, he's, well... It... Look, he's good. No but... one comes off well in this movie. No, it's a crap movie. Well, what does Ice Cube say about it? It is not his fault. Uh, what do you say about it? He doesn't in the, make yeah, any apologies for this movie. In the trivia page. I mean, he doesn't movie, tell it, you to it, see it. It basically says, like, yeah, this is the worst movie he's been in. And he, he admits it. And I think when he was asked to promote it, he was like, no, because I don't want to watch it. Fair enough. He's got, you know, he's got moles to stand behind. It's not a good movie. It, how much did it cost? I think oh. it was like 40 million, uh, 60 million. No, I don't think it was that much. I think it was like 20, 20 million, 14 20 million. million. Okay. I don't know, something like that. But it didn't make nearly that much. It was now, a big flop. As a good bad movie. And also, let's... John Carpenter, I think, stopped making movies after this. Yeah. He that's basically a pity. retired. That's a pity. I think he made one more after this, like The Ward. I haven't seen it. You know what, though? This, this was crap. It is, a, it is just a bad movie. It's not funny. The action's very mediocre. It the looks editing for is a two thousand and one film. The effects are atrocious. Now the music, apparently, I didn't think it was good, but apparently there's a following of the music. John Carpenter's music has a following. I like some of John Carpenter's music, but this not so much. Yeah, it's just it felt very nineties hackers sort of feel to it on Mars cheap. Yeah, it so sounds like nineties hackers, and it looks like. You know, trash. 70s trash action flick. So could you recommend this as a good bad? Would you recommend it? I was it? kind of entertained. Really? Uh, I, okay. I actually kind of enjoyed the film. Like, it's not good, but it's uh, it, it's entertaining. I, I kind of enjoyed it. So you you would kind of give it a pass? I you would know, watch this again fail, with friends. What would, okay, so it's a pass for you. Uh, pass or yeah, fail? You know, that's it's, it. it's not... You I mean, it's a it's bad film. I'd watch it. I found it entertaining. So it's a pass. I'm just saying. I don't know what this pass fail thing is. I'm saying like, would you watch it, or suggest for people to watch it, like pass or fail? I wouldn't suggest anyone watch it, but I'd watch it again. Man, okay, whatever. You just won't commit, will you? No, no, because I think I think a lot of I think most people would think this is trash, and it is, but it's kind of entertaining. Okay. In a this is a complete failure kind of way. All right, well, I would give it a fail. I would not suggest it to other people to watch. If you like other John Carpenter films, avoid this, I possibly. Get, okay, here's the problem. Because it kind of makes his other films look worse. It's cheap, tacky, mediocre action. Yeah. And that... And, and again, like, it I kind love of me, Precinct 13. Yeah. The Fog, great. Uh, Escape from New York, I right. think is fantastic. See, we're not saying that a movie can't be a low budget and be really good action film. But, but this is bad. It's just the whole editing and everything else and that goes with it. And the stupid plot, the stupid, stupid plot, the stupid characters. It's just not funny. It, maybe it was trying to be funny and satirical. It doesn't pull it off at all. Anyway, that is Ghost of Mars. Thanks for listening to The End of the Reel. If you know anyone else who is a fan of good, bad movies, share this podcast around to them. Sharing is the best way to help promote our podcast. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye-bye.